Alright, what do we got here? Something's chiseled here. This is six. Thank you for that information. I'm sure more context will make that mean something. I heard a lot of things about Valhalla in my past life. That the sound of a trumpet would rouse all the warriors in these heavens to do battle day in and day out. And once night fell, that those warriors would then be showered in alcohol as they regaled each other with tales of that day's heroism and might. And of course, there would be plenty of night fun with the maiden Valkyries. Those are the sorts of stories I'd heard. And yet here, there's only booze and women. No one bothers to even try to train. I suppose the stories were just that. Doing battle all day, then tell it a swapping story, manly stories at night while well, doing women. <laughs> Although, uh, battling all day, uh, just to tell stories about it sounds like, uh, it sounds like a Call of Duty <laughs> type game. <laughs> I wonder if Onei-chan's found out yet. I hid her precious sword in a brewery barrel. <laughs> Maybe I'll get another scolding if she finds out. Ah, so well that's what that sword was. Apparently, even in Valhalla, there are certain jurisdictions, and each Valkyrie is given one to manage. The Valkyrie here very much takes on the nurturing big sister role, and really pampers us. Are all the other Scandinavian Celestial Maidens the same as her? Don't know. Don't know how individuality works with uh, demons. All the foxes seem to be roughly the same. My random searching for these barrels <laughs> has paid off just once. <clears throat> oh! Vampire! So you show up now! Is something the matter? I was thinking about how many years of seclusion must have dulled my sense of smell. Huh? That's because I can smell great power wafting from you. It's a scent of powerful sorcery mixed with yokai power. What? Uh, um, well, thank you. That makes me happy that I get a compliment from you. That wasn't a compliment, you dullard. I'm saying I can sense the presence of something close to you that possesses strong yokai power. Ah, uh, so that's what you meant. But my senses must be fooling me. If the holder of that much yokai energy exists, it couldn't just be any ordinary sorcerer. Thinking about it just in terms of power, it's the equivalent of an entire army of thousands of yokai. I don't believe you would be that close to such a human. And also, assuming that individual were a human, there's no way you could be near them and not come away unscathed by their presence. Uh, I know who you're talking about now. That's my master! Huh? What? The holder of that powerful energy is your master? Yes! If she wanted to, she could call forth huge waves or create columns of fire. Since when could she do that? I swear, <laughs> you make Imagasu more powerful every game. In the first game, she was barely a match for Daim Yokai. In the second game, she was a, she was well above Daim Yokai and just got caught in a couple traps. And then now, create huge waves or calms of fire. Come on, come on now. 
She's, uh, she's strong, but she ain't that strong. She's incredibly powerful. Surely not. Such a powerful wielder of sorcery? Is your master? Yeah! No, I shouldn't be so rude. Seeker Ken, huh? I ended up attacking you out of a tragic misunderstanding. I wish to deeply apologize for that. But it was all in the service of a trial aimed at strengthening you. So I trust you understand that there is no ill intent on my part. You're sucking up so that he won't sink Imagasu on you. <laughs> Therefore, I would appreciate it if you would keep what happened earlier between us a secret from your master. But to thank you would have that kind of master. It's no wonder I could sense strong energy for you first time we met. You specifically said you couldn't sense any power from him. <laughs> Let's get along from here on. Please give my regards to your master when next you meet with her. Vampire San. She's pretty sensitive to differences in power and status. Huh. <clears throat> I saw it. There's a place where Valkyrie Chan always stops by before starting the evening banquet. There's some kind of special equipment that she keeps in a box in the weapon storeroom. It looks like she can't give the signal to start the banquet without it. Not that I really care about that. Valkyrie Chan does everything for me, so I can just keep leaving it all to her. Box in the weapon store, huh? This one's sword has a strange flashiness to it. It seems like I might be able to find a use for it. Got the short sword! Alright, so now we have the long sword and the short sword. very focused on training while I was alive. I enjoyed getting stronger and victory felt good. I understand now. Becoming weaker is a whole lot more fun than becoming stronger. And rather than winning, I can feel much, much better by losing. <laughs> Valhalla, a heaven for warriors, feasting and battling for eternity, is truly a place made for those who fight. Or it should be. None of us have even the trace of our fighting spirit left. Carry me to bed, Valkyrie Onechan. Come on now, people. No matter how much I drink, I'm never satisfied. Shouldn't it be night soon? I'm really hanging out for the night banquet announcement. Once the announcement goes out, we can go into the castle and start the banquet. There's a lot of these guys around. Even if I intend on escaping from here when I... Oh, even I intended on escaping from here when I first came. But, she starts using seduction magic if you create too much distance from her. Oh, so no running away this time, huh? If I ever try to escape again, I have to be careful about keeping the right distance. 
And that's a big if. <laughs> Oh, me attack! Uh, oh, just a dream. I'm still having those dreams about the battlefield. Hey, PTSD, it's a terrible thing. Uh, who are you? Oh, that was a person, but it's just a statue. Why is there a stone statue in such an annoying place? Is there some kind of meaning to having it here? Well, whatever. It's nothing for me to think about. Okay. Is there some meaning to having a statue there? Can I talk to you? Uh, is this still not time for the night banquet? How oh, Curry Chan and I chat a lot at the night banquet. And after that, we. <laughs> Something's chiseled here. This is 12. Oh, the clock, okay. 12. And six, I got it. It's reversed. So I can need to insert something in this hole. Huh, looks like it's a perfect fit! Okay. I'll hold off for that for now. We got money! round thing has been set here. Something's run on the pedestal. Short sword in the dragon. Long sword in the sage. Second hand in the angel. The numbers 1 through 12 are written on the outer part of the circle. Do I have to move these needles that are coming out to, from the middle and line them up with certain numbers? Huh. Which number should I move them to? Move the fat needle to which number? I don't know yet! Move the long needle to which number? Move the thin needle to which number? Nothing happened. Did I miss that? There was 1 through 12. Dragon, Sage, and Angel. What is that? What's it all mean? Okay, the statues. Dragon, Sage, Angel. Okay. So, Dragon is at six. Sage. Clockwise, but it's reverse, so will it be counterclockwise? Okay, going counterclockwise. So, Angel is at one. I think I missed this one. Oh, child of man, listen well. Yes? What is it? The look on her face is kind of scary. I can observe the condition of the blood flowing through you. Huh? The condition? Of my blood? Yes, more importantly, its location. I'm a vampire, so being able to do that much is only natural. 
N now then, are you paying proper attention to the nutrition level of the food you eat? Huh? Your blood is a little sluggish for a human your age. You're not only eating meat and fatty foods all the time, are you? Of course not. I rarely eat meat. I put a lot of thought into the three meals I make every day. In that case, perhaps you're not exercising or getting enough sleep. Though, judging by how you can run around like a little monkey, it can't be the former. Which means it must be a lack of sleep that's causing harm to the health of your blood. Night should be a time of sleep for you children of men. Understood? Otherwise, your blood won't flow smoothly and healthily through your body. Right. So then, is there any reason why you are unable to satisfactorily sleep? Huh? Well, that's... No, there isn't. Hmm. In that case, you must make sure that you go to bed when the sun goes down and awake when the sun rises. She sounds like a doctor. Otherwise your blood won't be nearly as enjoyable to drink. Hey! You said you won't try and drink my blood anymore! <laughs> Did I now? Did I? Anyway. Angel at one. Dragon at six. And Sage at ten. Okay. Okay, so our hand goes to the dragon. The long hand goes to the sage. And the second hand goes to the angel. Fat meal is the dragon, which is six. Long meal is the sage, which is ten. And thin needle to the angel, which is one. Is that right? Six. Wait. What am I thinking? It's not upside down. Duh. Okay, so it's Yeah, 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 come on. Six. Two. Eleven. Why do I think it was upside down? Whatever. You hear that? That's the signal for the night banquet. Eating, drinking, and later on tonight with Valkyrie Chan. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was upside down. Anyway. <laughs> 